What is up? Welcome to episode one of the Uncomfortable Podcast. I'm your host, Jake Allen, and I am super stoked to be with you guys today. Stoked to be finally doing this. Uh, I've had people tell me for the longest time now that I should start a podcast. I have produced multiple podcasts. I've been on a few podcasts. Um, but for quite a while now, people have been telling me to start my own podcast. And it's been something I've been thinking about and wanted to do for quite a while. So I figured no time like the present. And especially no time like two year anniversary of Into the Uncomfortable. If you're not familiar, Into the Uncomfortable is a community I started two years ago to the date um, in a college dorm room <laughs> as I was planning to leave college um, and go and pursue my own path. Um, and so I started Into the Uncomfortable, honestly, kind of as like a diary, if you will, as a way to, I mean, it started as a blog. So it started as a way to just kind of document my journey through this. Um, and then of course, you know, less than a month after I launched into the uncomfortable COVID hits, life gets a lot more uncomfortable for everybody. Um, and yeah, so really, um, yeah, this has just been, this has been on the radar for a long time and I'm excited to finally be doing it. But anyway, so this episode is going to be real quick, um, real brief, just sort of diving into what this podcast is going to be, what you can expect from this podcast, both now and in the future, um, going forward. And uh, yeah, so I guess let's just dive into that. Uh, first and foremost, basically what you can expect as of right now, um, pretty much just going to be hearing from me <laughs> um, so we can get some guests on here. The goal is obviously in the future, I want to like I've said, this is a community. This has never been about being a brand. It's not a personal blog. It's not, it's not about me. Um, I originally created it because I felt I was going through some like uncomfortable times. Right. And I was, I was struggling with what the world was telling me and what society was telling me to do versus what I knew inside of me I needed to do. Um, the comfortable versus the uncomfortable. And so that's essentially why I started into the uncomfortable was to help other people take that leap of faith and to build a community around that. Because when we unite together and when we come together, we go so much farther and we can make such a bigger impact. And so this is, that's what this is about. This is about a community. So with that said, the goal is to expand and to, to bring, bring people on here to tell their stories of diving into the uncomfortable, to bring people on here that maybe have differing opinions than I do, and to have uncomfortable conversations. The goal with this podcast is really to push and to um, just to push the limits of conversation and just to really dive into those uncomfortable topics and tell stories of getting uncomfortable and really just dive into why why the uncomfortable? Why do we dive into the uncomfortable? Why do we go into the uncomfortable? What does any of this mean? Um, you know, and maybe to answer some questions, to talk about some misconceptions some people may have. I've had people say things to me before, but, uh, you know, they say, but, but Jake, like, why, what is so bad about being comfortable once in a while? What, you know, I, I want both. And, you know, that's essentially the whole goal of this podcast is to answer those questions, to dive into those uncomfortable conversations, to just really dive deeper into the uncomfortable through just building and expanding and through having these conversations. So that's sort of just the overarching bullet point of sort of goal of this podcast. Um, it's just a conversation. Um, and that's, that's, really, that's really what it's about. And truth be told, it's kind of funny that I'm starting a podcast. It's kind of ironic. Um, those of you who knew me growing up and even to this day know that I am a very introverted person. I've always, I've been labeled so many things growing up, whether it's quiet, soft-spoken, um, shy, what have you. Um, I've been told things before like, do you, do you ever talk? Like, people are going to think you're weird if you don't talk. Like, why, why are you so quiet all the time? And it's really shaped throughout so much of my life. That label was one that I accepted and the one that I put on myself and have let hold me back. Um, and 
just me getting vulnerable with y'all because this is that's what this is about this is about real raw authentic uncomfortable conversations um but yeah it allowed me to like i like i really allowed that label to sit on my heart and to resonate me and to define resonate within me and to define who i am and honestly that's, that's something that's been hard throughout my life it's been really hard um it's hard to when we let the world define us and we let other people around us define us, we kind of lose who we are. We kind of lose that sense of who we are and that connection within ourselves. And then we began to really, we began to really seek validation and search for validation elsewhere. And um, uh, which I actually talked about in my most recent blog post, just a quick plug for you. But anyways, so it's funny that my whole life I've been made fun of and talked down to and you know, whatnot for being quiet and for not talking. Um, and the truth be told, I really believe the main reason behind that is because I don't feel like anyone's ever, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what the word I'm looking for here is, but I don't feel like people, for example, all through high school, um, you know, people will be talking about what parties they're going to go to that weekend or people be talking about, you know, what happened last weekend or, um, you know, whatever the case. And I didn't have anything to contribute to that because I didn't have anything that wasn't about what I was passionate about. And so I just went about that. But, you know, um, now I feel like I have this platform where I can, I can talk about what I want to talk about, what I'm passionate about. And, Anyways, that all just comes full circle. Um, it was a bit of a rabbit hole, I suppose, but that's all right. It all comes full circle to just essentially say that it's kind of funny and a little bit ironic that the quiet kid, the shy kid, the kid that never talks is starting a podcast, and especially by myself where I'm just sitting here just having a conversation with you. Um, so... Moral of that whole story is don't let the world define you. Don't let people hold you back. Don't let people's opinions of you and what people say about you and whatnot. Don't let that be who you are because that's not who you are. Um, you have the beauty of getting to determine who you are and um, deciding where you want to seek that validation. And so, yeah, anyways, um, just wanted to share that. I personally think it's funny. I think it's kind of ironic. Um, but trust me when I say that I have a lot to say. I have a lot that I'm passionate about and excited to share with you and excited to dive deeper into the uncomfortable with you, dive deeper into these conversations, and especially to have other people on here um, to, you know, to dive into those conversations with and to really just... Um, just spread that, spread that message of trusting your gut, taking the leap of diving into the uncomfortable and living fulfilled lives. Because guys, we were made for so much more than mediocrity. We were made for so much more than average. In fact, let's set the new standard for what average is. Let's raise the bar. Let's take it to the freaking moon. So that's really the whole mission behind all of this. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you've listened this far. I really, really, really appreciate you. Stay tuned. A lot more to come. A lot more to come. This is just the beginning. We are just getting started out here. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, appreciate you all. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. What's up, guys? Jake here again. Just wanted to thank you real quick for listening to this episode of the Uncomfortable Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, I ask that you would please go leave us a rating or review wherever you're listening to this. Really helps us out, really helps us tell more people about the uncomfortable and to help more people live fulfilled lives. So if you could go take two seconds to go do that, that would mean the world. Now go take one actionable step towards your dreams today and to apply what you heard here on this episode. You got this, I'm rooting for you as always. And once again, thank you so much for listening to the Uncomfortable Podcast. Catch you on the next one. Take yourself out your comfort zone. You want to be uncomfortable?
the ordinary, you ain't even gotta listen to me. Comfort is overrated. We've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable.